Today is Weed Day. It's called 420 Day, but it's also kind of a historic day for California. That's right. This is the first 420 since retail pot became legal. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live in downtown LA with the history of this high holiday. Joy. <laughs> It is a high holiday, right? You know, 20 years ago, 420 here in California was the only state offering any sort of legalized marijuana. It was only for medicinal purposes. Obviously, a lot has changed in addition to the stores and the places you can get it from. I mean, look at these products. They're simply just so diverse. Everything from stuff you put on your body to even cannabis products that you can give your pet. But all of this actually stems from a high school up north. It was these guys, believe it or not. According to these five lifelong friends, the 420 story started at their high school outside San Francisco in the early 70s. The group often hung out on a wall outside the school and thus earned the nickname the Waldos. And one day the Waldos came across some sort of a treasure map showing where some marijuana was supposed to be growing in the woods. Now, since some of the Waldos had after school activities, they decided to meet in front of their school to start their treasure hunt at you know what time, 420. 20 in the afternoon. There are others who claim they created the 420 phenomenon, but the Waldos say they're the only ones who have proof in the form of post-dated letters using the term and other documents. It was a no-brainer. You know, you're 16-year-old kids and free weed, so that was it. Back in early 70s, weed was not easy to get like it is now. So like a bunch of typical high school kids, we're all, hell yeah, we're on this. We're, let's go find this possible free patch of weed. We never found it, but we had a lot of fun trying. Of course they did. And look at how this movement has really changed. So many different small items that you can buy too. And it wouldn't be 420 without here at MedMan, a whole bunch of tables full of products you can get for, yes, 420. It may be like these uh, chocolate covered espresso beans. So there's two in there, $4.20. I'm being told that one bean is one serving. So all of this is kind of new to me, you guys. Honestly, this is my first time ever in a dispensary. Don't send me hate mail. I grew up in Kansas. You can't even buy liquor on Sundays.